Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are testing out $130 shadow kits from Pat McGrath. These are, of course, in a sequin baggie, which kind of drives me up a freaking wall. Why, why? Every single time I have reviewed a Pat McGrath kit, I wind up picking up sequins for like the next week. You know, me and my dust buster are just like going to town, trying to clean up the mess. It's a lot of glittery fun, so I will give it that, but this is like the most extra packaging I have ever seen from a cosmetics brand ever in my whole life. I have the ultraviolet blue and the ultra suede brown. Ooh, and look at that blue holographic packaging. Oh my gosh, it's just delicious. I could just sit here for a while like this and be completely hypnotized. Also, if you want to look at anything online swatch wise, like I've been drooling over these products. I know the last time that I reviewed a Pat McGrath set, I was kind of a little bit let down. It was not as fantastic as I thought it was. I compared the lip glitter situation to Tattoo Junkies, which is much more affordable and... Yeah, so it's kind of been hit or miss. I liked the first launches with like the crazy highlight. I thought those were beautiful. The lip stuff was meh, meh. And now we are diving into eyeshadow. So who knows which direction this could go in, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna test everything out on my eyes. But first things first, let's just dig into the packaging. It's kind of like a little treasure hunt in here. Do we see like, like, oh, ooh, I got an eyeshadow. So we have a brush. This is just happening. <laughs> okay, okay, a little bit of this. So we made it through that. So for $130, you do get seven items right now, and I don't know if they ever will be broken apart, but right now at Sephora, you can only buy this as a kit. So you cannot go and purchase the individuals, which I think is a bit of a drawback. I know it's really exciting. Pat McGrath stuff seems very, very different. And I don't know, I kind of think they strong arm you into having to buy the whole kit where I don't know that I necessarily would need another crease brush. Do you know what I'm saying? So, but they want to encourage you to use all the products together, so I think that's kind of the thought behind it. I just personally wish that these items were sold individually from the get-go. That's just my vibe. It says, use with caution. Why? Let's start out by swatching this first kit and just kind of seeing what we have going on. So you get seven products, like I mentioned. You do get a blending crease brush. You get this guy right here, which looks like just your typical smoky eye kit that's very rich in pigment, very like kind of inky black. Let's see, does it smudge, does it smudge? Yeah, that smudges pretty nicely. And then you have three shadows. You do get one that is very rich black right here. Ooh, okay, that's very satin kind of a black. Then you get this gorgeous, ooh, this is actually something that is just like calling my name. You get this gorgeous guy right here. This is the mercury pigment, and it almost has a bit of a golden green hue to it. I am so into that, ooh. It reminds me of Epitent from Chanel. And then we have the Astral White Pigment. This has a duochrome that's very kind of a violet, blue violet thing. That's super chunky. But, oh my God. Oh, what dreams are made of is this right here. That is so pretty. I kind of can't. That's really, really beautiful. And then you have a flattened pigment right here. This is the ultraviolet blue pigment. They do warn you on Sephora.com that this will stain your eyelids. So buyer beware. Um, you might have stained eyelids after using this. Just heads up. But you are gonna look so incredible using this pigment. Look at how rich that is. Now let's put a little bit of this guy on top and see what happens. That is so breathtaking, beautiful. I love it. All right, you do get one more item in this bunch. Let's figure out what this is. Oh, okay, clear eye gloss. I'm usually not into this kind of thing. I just, you know, I had the Kevin Aquan one and it just did not really float my boat because, I mean, it's turning that into like a nice little liquid and it can give you a nice sheen to the eyes, but usually these eye glosses just make your eyeshadow crease like crazy. So you might look cute for like an Instagram photo or two, but then the rest of the day, you're just gonna have gloppy creases everywhere. I've never tried any of them that I have loved. 
Maybe we will put a little bit of the eye gloss on top of this product just to kind of see, like let's just go there and see if this is something different. Okay, so let's crack into the more bronzy kit. So this obviously, the ultraviolet kit is going to be more blue toned. Ah, that happened. Okay, so you get another crystal clear eye gloss. So if you wanted both kits, you're gonna end up with a few duplicates. Wow, wait a second. What in the hell? Why is this exactly the same? What? Excuse me. This is supposed to be the ultra suede brown. Ah! You're supposed to get different colors in here. And I'll show you, this is the brown kit. And this is the blue kit. I am no dummy. I picked up one of each, but somehow this got packaged incorrectly. So I literally have two of the exact same guys right here. Two eye glosses. This, two of this. Wait a second, what? No, stupid. Are you joking me? This is just really pissing me off right now, actually. I am so, so, so happy that I opened up the last item here. So the only difference in both kits is this eyeshadow right here. I just wasted so much money. This really ticks me off. Why do I, why do I need two of everything? Am I being unreasonable or I don't know. I'm gonna set aside the ones that I have not yet touched for a giveaway because I already purchased these. So, you know, why not give away this kind of stuff to one of you guys? So we'll do that. I didn't know that though. I really feel like they should be more explicit in description that really the only difference is one shadow because I just spent $130 on the second kit thinking that they were different and they're not. I mean, that's kind of satisfying, right? Okay, we're gonna start out with the shadow stick and I am just gonna run this along the lash line and smudge it out. This is kind of gonna be a little bit like my five minute smoky eye, you know? Ooh, that is, have some black shadow stick. That is, oof. Intensity is through the roof. I'm gonna take the brush that it comes with and try to kind of blend out those edges. It's not as blendy as I would maybe hope for, but it is a smooth pigmentation. That actually, once I put a little work into it with the brush, blend it out nicely. Oh my gosh, you guys can see the glitter mess right here. <laughs> it's intense. Right, so I'm doing my best to make things even. It's kind of tough with cream shadow to really blend it out perfectly even, but you know, I'm gonna try. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a clean brush. This is a MAC 224, and I'm just gonna try and buff out the edge of where I took this up into the crease. It actually blended up quite a bit, so that pigment is very, very strong in this shadow stick. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with the bronze shade. Now I'm gonna put this all over the lid. I'm gonna take a MAC 230 and I'm going to pack this on the lid all over, just continuing to layer up and create more depth. Wow, that's beautiful. And I'm not gonna extend all the way out. I'm gonna keep this really dark out on the corner. This color is magnificent though. Do you see that? Oh my God. That is really beautiful together. That's just like so rich and smoky. All right, I'm gonna take the black shadow to kind of blend out a little bit of the choppiness of where the shadow quite kind of went in the crease and then kind of didn't want to blend. So I'm just gonna lightly kind of start on the outer edge and see what happens with this. Uh, I think I just made it worse. So now what I wanna do is go on the lid with this guy right here. This is the Mercury Pigment. 
and I'm first gonna take it dry, and if that's not enough, I'm gonna add a little bit of setting spray, but I'm gonna go in the center. Ooh, oh my God, you guys. I don't know why I was just not impressed with the initial swatches, but the way this is going on is so flippin' gorgeous. I freaking love that. Like, I love that. I'm gonna see if I can make it just a little bit more intense. Taking a smaller brush, I'm gonna wet this. Ooh, that turns into such a nice kind of melted metal type of a thing. And I'm gonna go right in the center of the center. Are you kidding me right now? Um, okay, that's one of the most favorite eyeshadows I think I've ever used in my life. I'm just feeling kind of daring, you know, I wanna really test out these products for you guys, so this might look crazy, but maybe it'll look great. I'm gonna take the blue pigment and really go underneath the lower lash line and see if we can do something just a little bit different than the huge. All right, so I'm gonna wipe off the pigment on this brush that I just used. And we're gonna go in with this same brush. This is a great brush. It's from Urban Decay. It's the E213 Tight Line. And it's so good to just place pigment in really specific spots. And I really like it for the lower lash line as well. So I'm gonna dip directly in to this blue shade and pray to God for the best. And just go underneath the lower lash line. Mm-hmm. Now I am going to wet my brush and I'm going to go into this guy right here. This is the Astral White Pigment that has that blue reflect in there. And I'm going to pick up, no, oh, that's not working. This one does not really want to turn into a liquid, but we're gonna try anyway. Okay, I'm gonna take this in the center of the lower lash line, or at least try to. No, that's not really working. No, it's kind of working. It works better dry than wet, just heads up. All right, so that actually is really pretty. This makeup feels very neon. It feels very turned on and like, it's just, it's a it's lit. It just has a glow to it and it has just this brightness to it that I really, really love. I do wanna go right in here with the shade Mercury just to brighten up that inner portion of the lower lash line. You guys, like, I can't even believe this. So here's the deal, you guys. Normally when I do colorful makeup or something that's a little bit more loud in my personal taste, I don't feel 100% myself, but for some reason these colors are just making me feel really good and like they're very wearable and flattering. So I am so into this. I was really annoyed at first by the packaging and by the fact that, you know, that one shadow is the only difference between the two kits, but I'm getting like outside of that because this is so beautiful. I really, really love it. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this will wear all day without creasing or fading or falling or any of that. I have half a mind to put the eye gloss on top to just kind of see if we can kick it up another notch, but I really like how this looks right now and I don't wanna mess it up. I'm like in fear of that. But I think at some point throughout the day, I will put this on just so we can kind of see what happens. But right now what I'm gonna do is put on a little liner, a little lash, and I will be right back. So clearly my lashes and liner are on. I'm set to go for my day. I feel like I should be going to some kind of a red carpet event or an evening out on the town, but really I'm just gonna be hanging out with my dog and you know doing stuff around the house, but that's okay. You know, There's no bad time to have a smoky eye if you're just in the mood for it, why not? So I'm gonna take you guys with me throughout my day. I also wanna let you guys know I'm super, super excited. I'm actually gonna be on HSN tonight, which is the craziest thing. I would like die if someone that subscribed to my channel called in. I don't even know if they've 
really do that, like if people really call in or not, but that's like my fantasy. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna be there with Wonder Brow. I will be on at midnight Eastern time, 9 p.m. Pacific. If you guys would watch and tune in, it's my first time doing any kind of a live presenting type of a thing, so I'm a little nervous, a little excited, but I wanted to let you guys know that I will be on TV tonight, so I hope you guys um, come and support and check it out, and then all day on Thursday, I will be kind of on and off with Wonder Brow all day long. So yeah, that's like a, a big little kind of cool thing happening in my life. But right now I'm going to go chill, eat some lunch with my smoky eye and do a few check-ins. I will see you guys in just a little bit. Do you guys even know how embarrassing it is that it looks like James literally is driving and drinking like a bottle of champagne? This is not a small bottle of Pellegrino, guys. Why? Why are you so obsessed with this? Go big or go home. <laughs> you look so little in that chair. <laughs> I'm leaning way down. I don't know why I do this. This is how I ride in the car, guys. I lean my chair back and I like scrunch down. James makes fun of me. Yeah, I think it looks beautiful. I love your makeup today. Thank you. It looks really pretty. Thank you. I'm wearing a lot of it. I like it. And I'm okay with that. I am currently using this eye cream. It's really, really good. I want to try the Visionaire Crescendo. This is a treatment that you use for a few weeks two different ways. I think I'm gonna put it to the test very, very soon. Anyway, I am easily distracted. I'm not here to look at the long comb counter, but oh, hey, Julia, looking beautiful. New launches. They have models owned now at Ulta. We're off to find it. Hi, James. Hey, baby. I tried this out the other day and it's really, really good. Look how cute she is. Hey, hold on a second. Let me show you something. Turn around. I like it better like that. <laughs> Don't give me the cold shoulder, Tati. Actually, I like the cold shoulder. I feel like I really need this in my life. I'm not joking, actually. Actually, I think I need to get this. Supporting the YouTube community. I'm all about that. I'm like a wild animal in the middle of all time, crouched on the floor. Turn the camera off. So all in all, I definitely think this is a beautiful collection. Even the black base, the cream base, just really did add a layer of kind of security for the shadow to stay on top of. The beautiful, more golden green tone shade is absolutely outstanding. My big, huge complaint is I think it is so annoying that they have those two sets where six items are identical and the only difference is the two shadows because both shadows are out of this world, ridiculously gorgeous, but who wants to spend a $130 twice to get each individual shadow. Like that makes no sense to me. I don't understand it. And I really felt that they were different products in each set. I know that if I got confused by that, that a lot of consumers are probably going to be confused by that as well, especially shopping online. And it was just kind of, I don't know, really disappointing. So I hate that about this product, but the actual performance and the texture and just everything about it is beautiful. Really, really great job. And now we're gonna take one final spin and put a little bit of this eye gloss on top of the shadow because I forgot to do that earlier. This really looks like unicorn tears. It is so iridescent and has a lot of different colors going on in it. I'm just gonna kind of put this on top and just see what happens. That kind of gave it like this grungy look. I just don't like the way that feels. I know that it's gonna get all sticky and weird. The other thing is they don't exactly tell you online how you're supposed to do this. There's no instructions. You just kind of get a ton of product and like, here you go, like you're out in the wild, like figure it out. So I don't know. Um, yeah, that's already starting to crease and it's already starting to make the product transfer way up here. Do we see that? 
I just don't like eye glosses. I just don't, I kind of knew I wasn't going to. The only time that I would ever use this would be on a completely bare lid and I'm not a fan of that. So there we have it. I really enjoy these shadows. I don't think you need both kits. I think that's a huge waste of money. This is expensive, but keep in mind you do get seven items in each individual kit. But all in all, I mean, this is a beautiful smoky eye, very unique colors, very unique textures. And for the most part, it is a job well done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and tagging along with me. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me those comments below with other requests on upcoming launches and whatnot. I read everything that you guys write. So, you know, keep those requests and comments coming. I love you guys so much and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.